everyone, I am Ricky and welcome to today's edition of The Mouse Bites. Now, The Mouse Bites are your latest Walt Disney World, Disneyland, Disney Cruise Line, and Universal Orlando news. Now, first things first, we are going to start with the big news that happened, and it's not necessarily parks related, but I did want to kind of mention it because, well, it is parks related <laughs> in the sense of it's a Disney-wide related news piece, and that is that Bob Iger is now out as the big cheese... Well, that's Mickey, but you know what I mean. Um, uh, of the Walt Disney Company. So replacing him as CEO is Bob Chapek. Now, um, Iger will still be around in an executive position. Um, however, he is currently out of the Walt Disney Company in that leadership role of CEO, and Bob Chapek is now in. Moving on to Walt Disney World news had to get that out of the way because that was the big news story of yesterday so I knew I had to talk about it but moving to the other big news story of yesterday actually there's kind of two big news stories uh first of all is what everybody has been asking for when do tickets to Mickey's not so scary Halloween party go on sale it's February but that's okay because they're on sale now um tickets are on sale on for select nights um the party will take place on August, September, October, and November of this year. Uh, this year's the uh, the party starts early in August, and there will be 36 Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween parties in total for guests to enjoy. Party dates are listed on the mouse for less, so if you want to see if there's a party date on the night that you will be there uh, while you're in the parks at Walt Disney World in either November, uh, October, September, or August, yes, I went backwards, uh, you can find those dates out on the news section of the Mouse for Less. Now, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party tickets start at $85 per adult uh, for those who purchase tickets in advance, and children's tickets start at $80 in advance. Must purchase those at least one day ahead of time in order to be able to take advantage of that discount. Now, the only date where the purchase in advance discount is not available, that is on October 31st, Halloween night, where tickets cost $149 for adults and $144 for kids. Yikes. Um, <laughs> if you'll be attending the parties, make sure you purchase your tickets now, and you can buy do, it, do so by doing it either online or calling the Disney Reservation Center at 407-827-7350. Now, events for Mickey's Not-So-Scary Halloween Party include things like the Mickey's Not-So-Spooky Fireworks Spectacular, which we do have the video up on the Mouse for Less YouTube. We also have the video for Mickey's Boo to You Parade. If you want to see what those were like last year, you can find those on our YouTube channel. Uh, you can also go trick-or-treating and catch the Hocus Pocus Villains Spectacular. If you want to see an overview of the event, you can also check out our YouTube channel or you can check out the news section. I have the video in the article that we have about Mickey's Not-So-Scary Halloween Party. So that was the that big news now the second bit of big news is that back in august at the d23 expo it was announced that spaceship earth would be closing for a very large very massive refurbishment and we now have a date for when spaceship earth will be closing at epcot so guests will be able to ride the attraction up until may 26th of this year now, when the attraction reopens, it's going to feature uh, the story of humanity. So we're gonna follow from our journey from prehistoric humans uh, to today. And according to what they talked about uh, at the D23 Expo, um, we'll be following the story light throughout all of the scenes. Now, many of the scenes are that are currently there are still going to exist. Um, they'll just be updated and they'll be blended into new scenes that tell the story of our human experience. Um, if you want to see what one of the scenes looks like, and it looks gorgeous from the concept art, you can check out the news section on the Mouse for Less. We have the photograph there of the concept art. Um, now, throughout this uh, attraction, you'll also hear a new narration and see how this light is going to play a central role in our shared human journey. Now, Spaceship Earth will also feature a brand new musical score that will focus on the moments and ideas that define our story. This updated version will be the fourth version of uh, Spaceship Earth since the park's grand opening on October 1st, 1982. Now, while we know the official closing date, which again, May 26th, keep that in mind, uh, there's currently no word on when this attraction will reopen from its refurbishment. So we'll keep you updated on that. Last but not least, we have news about the 
Mickey Shorts Theater, which is going to officially debut on March 4th. Now, I know you're wondering, this is the same day as the opening of Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. So these attractions actually do kind of tie into each other, even though they're not necessarily next to each other. So they're close, they're close by, but they're not next to each other. So um, inside the newly reimagined Mickey Shorts Theater at Disney's Hollywood Studios, guests will be able to catch a brand new Mickey Mouse short that's similar to the shorts that currently air on the Disney Channel. Now this short is exclusive to Disney's Hollywood Studios and it's called Vacation Fun. Vacation Fun will celebrate Mickey and Minnie's favorite vacation memory memories, um, but there will be some new adventures as well. Now clips will include um, some of the favorite Mickey shorts like Panda, Monium, Couples, Sweaters, Potato Land, Croissant de Triomphe, uh, Entombed, Duck Luck, or Dumb Luck, I guess I should say, uh, Al Rojo Vivo, Yodelberg and Outback Atcha. Uh, now, following uh, the show, guests will be able to step into life-size versions of some of these same Mickey Mouse shorts where they can pose with family and friends. Now, the Mickey Mouse Shorts Theater will be found in Echo Lake in the former location of the Path of the Jedi. Now, March 4th is definitely going to be a very exciting day to be in Disney's Hollywood Studios. That's going to do it for all the news that I have for you today. Make sure you follow along with us on the mouse for less because you're going to miss all this news that I just talked about if you're not following along with our news section. So go check out the news section. Uh, also make sure you're following us along with us on all of our social. So Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest, uh, and Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. <laughs> I missed one of them, but that's okay. Uh, and also you can check out, uh, I was there uh, at Disney Springs this past weekend. So I had some fun there and enjoyed my time and uh, really got to enjoy the gorgeous day. I know it's kind of rubbing it in, but it was absolutely beautiful on Saturday at Disney Springs. So um, sorry for those of you who are facing cold weather. I was facing cold weather up until that moment. So it was very nice to get to experience it. So anyway, um, like I said, make sure you're following along on all of our social sites and you'll get content just like that. So that's gonna do it for us today on the Mouse Bites. We'll see you next time. Have a great day, everyone.